Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome to those of you, actually this is Pro Wrestling Logic, where we discuss pro wrestling for a, in a variety of ways. This is the Impact Review for uh, the 10th of uh, March 2022. Uh, Jordana Grace defeats Havoc uh, with Rosemary on BTI. The um, show opens with uh, the return of Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander opens the show. Uh, he says uh, not uh, one thing's been on his mind for a while, and that's the world title and, and uh, defeating Moose. And he's been at home. He's been thinking about coming to peace with the idea that he never get a chance to win the title again. And one thing he couldn't ignore was when kids asked him about regaining the title. He's finally He finally has a date with that, and the date is re the Rebellion pay-per-view. I don't know more interrupts Alexander Edwards uh, complained that Alexander has been handed everything since day one and that he hasn't earned anything. Alexander continues saying Edwards has excuses because he got lazy, lazy and couldn't capitalize uh, when Edwards received shots himself. Taven intervenes, makes fun of Alexander for having a title reigns longer than his. Uh, Alexander has enough and challenges everyone to fight. Dia Moore comes out and books Edwards versus Rich Swan in the main event and Mac versus King. Right now, Dia Moore bans everyone from ringside for the rest of the night. Willie Mac defeats Kenny King. Not really a good match, and uh, honestly, King has a lot more than Mac does in terms of long term value. King then begins to win an upper hand, focusing on strikes, but also starts to pick up a little bit of speed. Mac then uh, reverses into a series of arm drags, baseball slides, and dives to the floor. Uh, both men brawl around the ring for a little bit. King then plays possum, catching Mac's neck's neck against the rope and drops him into a kick for a near fall. Mac then fights back with some strikes and power slams, but King moves out into a moonsault once again, cutting Mac off. King then works on Mac's back, but eventually low blows himself with a... Landing on Mac's knees. Mac then capitalizes with a Samoan and drop in a moonsault combo for a near fall. King and Mac trade strikes until King drops Mac with a power slam for a two count. King then follows up with a discus elbow and a, and a suplex, but King can't um, pin Mac, so he releases and goes to the top turnbuckle, crashing and burning when Mac dodges. Mac then hits a stunner with a six sided uh, frog splash for the win, and then Moose appears. Uh, approaches Dia Moore and gets a uh, gets Alexander pushing a uh, content behind or uh, impact behind Dia Moore's back. Uh, Dia Moore tells Moose that he had known about it and implied that he'd been his that that had been his plan. Dia Moore asks Moose to sign the contract and he better do it in private because Moose should stay away from Alexander. He threatens that if Moose Moose doesn't sign the contract, he'll strip him of the title. Ace Austin with Madman Fulton defeats John S Skyler and Crazy Steve, getting a number one contendership uh, or winning the number one contendership for the X Division title. Trey Miguel will defend the X Division championship against the winners of two three-way contendership matches, and that'll happen at Rebellion. Austin tries to, to formulate an alliance with John Skyler, and they, then he rejects the idea. Austin then allows Steve and Skyler to pair up. Austin comes back, but then again takes out Steve, but then gains enough momentum, and uh, that prompts Fulton uh, to pull out Austin and save him back in the ring. Austin manages to get control in the ring, but both men manage to recover and send Austin to the floor once again. Skyler hits Tiger Bomb for near fall. Finish of the match comes when Steve climbs on Skyler's shoulders and bites him. Austin then catches him with a fold from the top rope to get the pin. GM Miller interviews uh, Ginger about um, what, he's, what he's going for. Ginger said that he has earned everything in his life and he wants to keep getting wins and rack up a title match. Raj Singh approaches him and asks why he's been ignoring him, but suddenly Larry D walks up. Larry D complained about uh, that he was gone because they had no space for him. But instead, they hired these two guys, and G Punch Singh, and down they go. Violent by Design cuts a promo about winning the tag team titles, taking power back uh, from the Good Brothers, claiming that the only reason they had the titles was because 
they watch their backs and pick their shots and take from the titles by design. Tasha Steele, Savannah Evans, and the influence. Uh, Mickey James, Chelsea Green, and the and the Iconics or the inspiration. Um, the match is a mix of basically rivalries. Prior to the match, Rain and Dashwood instructed Caleb not to interfere in the match. Match itself is kind of honestly very flat. Uh, has a hot start though when Lee and McKay rushes Dashwood, and then they come in to cut off McKay. Then takes Evans out, and then there's a tag, quick tags. Heel team Lee isolates. Lee is isolated for some minutes. Steals distracts herself, and then Lee drops her and tags in um, James. James clears the ring. For from everyone but steals and gets her with a cutter in the same way she lost the title of sacrifice. James tries to tag in green. Caleb pulls her off and gets a low, gets a low blow in his trouble for return back in the rings. James hits the Mick DDT on steals for the win. Um, basically cluster of a match and honestly a waste of time. Jonah cuts a promo about defeating uh, PCO and he's supposed to be a monster and instead, Monsters fears Jonah, and he showed the world PCO was human after all. Bullet Club comes down to the ring. Kyle Anderson takes the microphone to int introduce the team and address having lost the tag team titles. Violent by design, Gallo said that they put the tag team division on notice, and even the Briscoe brothers, their opponents uh, for the multiverse show. Gallo is told Violent by design that they were going for the titles. Alex Shelley walks out and tells Jamie... Uh, that he wasn't bothered by the loss because he and White um, are going to war. He acknowledges that White is indeed the best pro wrestler in the world, hardly. Uh, nonetheless, he's disappointed that White is disrespectful towards him because of their history together, um, which they didn't really cover very well. White told him that he'd never been personal, and for him it's all business. But White Shelley knew was gone, and he'd grown. And Shelley didn't know the switchblade. This switchblade, Jay White. Uh, Shelley tells White that he can call himself King Switch, but that it's Shelley's fingerprints that are all over his business. Um, basically, he he was because of who he was, because the Young Bucks being who they were, because of guys like him. Uh, this does not belong on this particular program. Chris Bay interrupts and talks trash. To Shelley saying that uh, there alone was the four of them, but the course. Shelley then shut down quick, saying that Shelley is never alone on impact. Chris Saban joins him on the ramp. Saban says whatever, they're together. Uh, they're the best tag team, and he talked. White and Bay tried to face them off next week. Uh, White accepts the challenge. Bullet Club versus Motor City Machine Guns next week. Backstage, Alexander asked Dean Moore that he should be him and Edwards tonight. Dean Moore then told him he wanted Alexander to focus on the world title, but since Alexander won the match, he'd give him Matt Taven next week. Man, this show just feels so clunky. But anyway, luckily it's near its close. Uh, Miller interviews Deanna Perrazzo and asked her if she felt remorse about re-injuring Green's arm. Perrazzo said she did for a second, but that'll never happen, and she... Warned everyone that whoever would challenge her will suffer too. Julie Shaw and Lady Frost approached and they start arguing. So Perazzo to put the both titles on the line next week against them to shut them up. Also next week, uh, Rhino against Steve McLean and Josh Alexander, Matt Taven, and the Bullet Club versus Motor City Machine Guns. Finally, main event: uh, Eddie Edwards and Rich Swan. Uh, they ha they have been allies quite a bit in the Impact brand, but now obviously they are no longer allies. Uh, Swan jumps Edwards from the beginning. Honor No More is banned from ringside. Uh, Swan jumps Edwards and get, hits a dive during the entrance. They brawl around the ring before the match could start. Match finally begins, and Edwards takes control. Swan comes back, and it's a run. A drop kick cuts off with an inverted atomic drop and over-the-head throw. Edwards then works over Swan for a little bit, capturing a couple near falls. Swan catches Edwards with the 619, but again, that doesn't go the way anybody plans. Edwards continues working over Swan's back before 
later trying another comeback and uh, hitting with a couple of quick attempts, only to get dropped again, but the match spills onto the apron. Swan then hits a desperation run onto the floor and drops on Edwards back in the ring. Both men trade strikes. Swan gets Edwards, hits him with a jumping clothesline and a kick combo, followed by a neckbreaker and a kick for another near fall. Swan hits a standing Frankensteiner and another two count, but then goes for the Phoenix Splash. Edwards cuts him off, hits a backpack stunner into the single leg Boston Crab. Swan's able to reach the ropes and break it. Edwards then uh, goes back and forth with Swan with strikes until both men collapse. Goes for a Tiger Driver, but Swan reverses into a roll up and a two count. Swan then turns a Blue Thunder into a head scissors takedown, but Edwards reverses into a Poison Rana and a Blue Thunder Bomb. Uh, Edwards hits Tiger Driver for a near fall. Swan catches Edwards with a cutter and lethal injection for another near fall. Goes for the Phoenix Splash, but Edwards moves and hits a running lariat and finishes off Swan with the uh, Boston Knee Party and the Die Hard Driver for the win. Best match on the show, and obviously Honor No More comes out to celebrate with Edwards for the win. We'll be back with more right after this.